Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel and another day of triathlon training. Today, I've just been out for a lunchtime run, 5.1 miles, just over eight minute miling. It was one of those runs where it was probably just a little bit too fast throughout, but that's okay, I was feeling pretty good, so it was all right. Afternoon, Rob. Hello. Okay? Yeah, we're good, thanks. We've got two announcements to make today, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I'll do the first one. I'm reliably informed that Rob's dad is now a subscriber to this YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome along, Rob's dad. <laughs> Thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click that button down below. The second announcement is a little bit, I think I said yesterday, I've got a sad announcement to make, but, oh, it's, right, but, okay. it's, but it's not me. So Rob and I obviously work together, that's why we run at lunchtime together. But Rob is leaving tomorrow, so this is our last lunchtime run today. Uh, emotional. I know it is. You've been, uh, been here a few years now, haven't you? A couple of different yeah, roles. Yeah, about three years now, yeah. Yeah. So, genuinely, like, ups upsetting to see you go. I've just got to run with Mark now. <laughs> it's not quite the same. However, uh, you are still going to be in the triathlon scene, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Without, um, without being too specific, Rob might be going to Hawaii next year. <laughs> and maybe not as a competitor. Yeah, well, definitely not as a competitor. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> never say never. True, yeah. true. So um, we've got a couple of plans in mind for next year, haven't we? So we have, yeah. Maybe a half or a full at some point. Yeah. Basically, I want Rob to just become like, well, I don't know, not as focused in his training now, he's not working with me. <laughs> and I absolutely smash this winter. We meet up for a race and I'm like, miles ahead. <laughs> That's the plan. But anyway, no, it's been a pleasure, Rob. Absolutely. Thank you for getting me out the door loads of times on these lunchtime runs. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed them as well. Likewise. We'll see you around soon. Absolutely. Follow Rob's Instagram to keep up to date. <laughs> Good evening. Some proper runners running around, not me. I know what you're thinking. He scrubs up okay, doesn't he? Yes, I do. This is work attire. So, I don't normally get invited to many things, right? I'm not very popular. So when I do, I'm trying to make a concerted effort to go to things. So I've been very kindly invited tonight to listen to a story presented by Dean Jackson, who runs the company Hoop. Now, I have heard this story before, but it's brilliant. I really enjoy the history. It really thinks it's an inspirational story, so I'm going to go and listen. There's also going to be some people there who I perhaps need to mingle with. So I'm going to go around, talk to some people, push yourself out of my comfort zone. See you there. Okay, so back home it is nine o'clock. Not an early night for me, but that's okay. That was really good. I've heard the hoop story a couple of times. I know it pretty well, but it's so inspirational to listen to like a, a business leader. I know people have different opinions about triathlon brands and that's fine, but I'm a big fan of hoop. Anyway, uh, brings me on to, <laughs> this package has been delivered today, not sponsored. Hoop had a sale on the other night, you might have heard me hear, uh, say. The package came today, which isn't great timing because you might know that I moaned at Liz for a package being delivered the other day. And she then sent me a picture of this today and said, basically, who do you think you are? Anyway, what's in the bag? Now, some of this, well, I fact, most of this is for next year, but when a sale comes up, I'm a big fan of getting that stuff. So like I, in the summer of this year, bought a load of winter kit because it's cheaper. You've just got to think like six months ahead. And hopefully six months ahead, me being slimmer. Right, so this is the Hube Mark II transition bag. I got one of these in, it was either 2013 or 2014, when Triathlon 220 did a, for like a subscription bonus. If you subscribe to the magazine for a year, you got a free Hube transition rucksack. And the, the subscription was cheaper than the RRP of the rucksack. So I subscribed to the magazine for a year, got the rucksack. Been using that bag on and off ever since. It's on its last legs. It's about nine or 10 years old. New one, here we go. I think the, um, the helmet thing's slightly bigger on the front and it's probably a little more, bit more rugged. And yeah, nice to have a, a, a new bag, okay. I think that was about 35 quid. Um, I'm gonna try and save the interesting stuff until the end, what is that? I don't know. Uh, oh, here we go. Just a technical t-shirt, running t-shirt. I'm very conscious that I always seem to wear event t-shirts, a lot of outlaw event t-shirts because I've done a lot of outlaw events. And I do like that, but I do want to build up a little stock of just normal running t-shirts so that I'm not just like, look at me, I've done this event. Although that is what I say and do. Um, the Animoy overshoe covers. Now these are only like, they only come to like the top of your shoe and they've got like a big hook on the back. These are really good for being on your, half on your shoe in transition and then getting on the bike and then just pulling them over the, over the heel and you're ready to go. Now, because I put my shoes on in transition and normally run and get on my bike with my shoes already on, I wear through the toes quite a lot, running on concrete, tipping up. Yeah, it's only like a, a thin material. I go through a couple of sets a year. I'm going to try and start putting my bike, uh, pedals on the bike before I set off, but another pair of these in extra large because they're not always in stock, these, so um, it's good to get them on there in stock. Was that a noise from the kitchen? Yeah. What? 
Oh, there's an intro on the cat. More interesting stuff. Da da da. Hoop Aero calf sleeves. Now these are the 316 calf sleeves. 316 makes reference to sub seven, the um, fastest ever Ironman distance triathlon attempt earlier this year. Hooper, of course, involved with it was going to be Alistair Brownlee, but then Joe Skipper stepped in the last minute when Ali Brownlee was injured. And these are the calf sleeves that you use for that. Now, these retail at £150, and whether they're worth that or not, I don't know. However, they were at you know 57% off. So I think I paid about £60 for these. And that to me makes them a lot more affordable. That's sort of like normal calf sleeve price. There's actually like a like a ribbed inside there. It looks like a little sleeve inside the sleeve. So there's a bit of texture. And I'm probably doing a very bad job of showing this. I might to get the big camera out another day and show you. But there's like that sleeve stitched inside the outside sleeve. And they're like a navy blue. So I think that's probably the similar to the you know the fancy like under under top garment thing they do. That gives it a bit of texture through the material. I mean, whether the I mean I think there's a measurable game with this, but whether it's like life changing or not, I don't know. But every little helps. And if you're gonna put calf sleeves on, you might as well put fast calf sleeves on. I like those. I was actually a size medium in these. I measured my calves and I measured up as a medium. So look forward to trying to get them on the legs. Put them in the bag. These obviously aren't coming out until the new year, but there you go. Finally, a skin suit. Now, I have had various thoughts about what to do racing next year. And uh, if I'm honest, I've flitted between a lot of things. And one thing I thought about was just putting on a black skin suit and racing for. I don't know, myself. So that's what I've done. This is the Hoob TT skin suit. Now, this is the, the latest offering from Hoob. So these retail at £310. They've got a proper road chamois in, so it's not a triathlon suit. The chamois is a bit too big to, to do a triathlon in, and the, the upper body would be too tight to do a swim in. I know some people undo them and have them on the wetsuit. So this is going to be a pure time trialing skin suit but i will probably also use it for uh, any road racing or cut racing that i might do i know i said i'm not doing any but i will see nice long legs nice taped seams and that's the right word oh these look great yeah it looks good unfortunately i couldn't get one with a number pocket in the back because i didn't have any in stock but i know that you can get number pockets affixed afterwards i don't really want to start pinning numbers onto an expensive skin suit so that was about 140 pounds which again is a lot of money to spend on a skin suit but i have spent more than that on a skin suit before and i think that is sort of like in the realms of like i'll just buy one and give it a go in the new year i do want to go and do some aero testing and i'm probably going to go to silverstone wind tunnel i think and they do have a big bank of stuff that you can try on skin suits helmets those sorts of things but what they don't have is one of these so therefore me buying this enables me to test this against other things that are in that wind tunnel as well like bio racer no pins those sorts of things skin suit how fast they are is very individual i think that technology sometimes is universal but more often than not it depends on your your body shape how you position and those sorts of things so i'm just trying to open my options a little bit and i do want to get another try suit i do have a hoob anamoy 2 try suit but i've never actually worn it so i can't fit in it but um yeah i'm just hoping next year to optimize as much as i can but i need to slim down a little bit before i do do that that's it unboxing horse. It's been a long time since I've done an unboxing. hope it doesn't feel like a flex look at everything I've bought. I genuinely don't really buy loads of triathlon stuff anymore. But when a sale comes up, got to pounce on it. Anyway, got to go get something to eat, get uh, showered and get to bed and get ready to do some more triathlon training tomorrow. Although tomorrow is just a bike testing day. Power testing. See you there.